Look at your new space. Do you like it? It's much cleaner in here. Yeah, that garage leaked. And besides, this way I don't need a space heater in the winter. It won't interrupt my natural flow, you know? Totally. I brought you something to take a look at. I think it might be helpful. Give you a little inspiration or guidance in finding your style. Great. Great. Hey, how was your trip to New York? Unbelievable. You have to see it, Shannon. Did you check out that website? Yeah, I, I did some research on it. Uh, it looks great. I, I just don't think we can afford it. I mean, Ainsley just started school and... Just get your husband to take a trip with you up there. Marvin? Oh, God. He would never. He's more of a golf trip kind of guy. Sandals, maybe, but New York and culture? I don't think so. Well, then you should see it then. You gotta see it in person. Maybe we should go together. Right. That'd be something. <laughs> so... See what you've been working on. Great. Okay. Let's talk about this.
Thanks so much for today. I feel like I'm so much closer to finding my voice, you know? Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be late. Sorry to run like this. No worries. Don't like to bike and smoke. I'd rather kill myself slowly. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, great. Um, I guess I'll see you next week. Sawatsky. Zach, right? Zane. What are you doing? Well, I, I just finished your wife's art lesson. Let's have a smoke. Can I have one? Yeah, man, of course. I was looking at your wife. She moved to studio, emptied the garage. There's a bunch of paintings in there. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't really tell from the window. Do you mind if I get a closer look? Why don't you show me this? Why would she? It's like nothing she's ever painted. Well, of course not. I'm sorry, Mr. Sawatsky. It's just... This is... I was having a kind of rough night, and I got a little drunk. I don't know what I was thinking. It was just gonna happen. You? What? These are yours. Well, Jan painted on one side and threw the things in the trash. The other side was blank. Kind of seemed like a waste, so... I never knew you painted. First time. What? First time I painted. A couple of nights ago. You painted this all in one night? You've never painted before? Well, I guess not. Well, the basement a couple of years ago, but... No pictures, no. Have you shown them to anyone else? Why would I show anyone else? What about Jan? Has she seen them? <laughs> uh, she doesn't come in here anymore, so I kind of doubt it. Would you mind if I took a couple pictures? You give me another smoke, you can do whatever you want. Said just stuff around the house with no pictures. No? Who made you want to paint these? I don't know. I was kind of drunk, but it just kind of happened. Hey everyone, that was Marvin Swatsky, a middle aged blue collar suburbanite who has never taken an art class a day in his life. An artistic genius who I predict is about to take the art world by storm. Introducing for the first time Marvin Swatsky in his debut collection.
Michelle, Neil. Yeah, but listen, darling, I need you to find someone for me. Look, have you seen the video of the suburban dad artist? Yeah, Marvin, right. Well, I, I want you to send an email to the person who posted that video. All right? Good. No, I want to talk to Marvin. When you connect with him, call me, okay? All right. Good. Your mom's out uh, with her friends for lunch. How are you doing? I'm all right, you know. I miss having you around the house, that's for sure. Aww. I miss you too, Pop. How are your classes going? How's your roommate? Everything's great here. But listen, I have a question for you. Oh. Oh, you need some more money? I can get mom to send some through the email for me. Why don't I send a couple of hundred, that way you'll have a bit of a cushion. Oh no, Dad. I don't need any more money. Oh. How come you didn't tell me about the painting? What paintings? Oh, you mean your bedroom? Well, your mother did that without asking me. Don't worry, I'll have them all switched over whenever you come home. My room? No, Dad. Your painting. The stuff in the garage? Did your mom tell you about those? She's probably mad because I used her old ones. She threw those out. No, oh, the video on YouTube. Mom's art teacher posted a video of you in your painting. What? Dad, they're amazing. Did you really paint those? What? I mean, they're so unreal. All my friends are freaking out that you're my dad. Everyone on campus is going nuts for the suburban painting genius. Suburban what? Genius. Everyone is calling you a genius. Uh, can you hang on for a second, honey? There's a... I got a beep. Hello? Hey, hey, is this Marvin? Yes? It's Zane, your wife's art tutor. Oh. My daughter said you made a video. I did all of your work. People are very impressed. You put it on the U channel too? Yeah, I, I posted it on YouTube. Listen, Marvin, I have some exciting news about your work. Can you hold on for a second? I got my daughter on the other one. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, but Marvin... Sweetheart? Hey. I'm sorry about that. That was that Zane guy talking about it in this stupid video. What's he saying? Dad, this video is everywhere. You're totally famous. Oh. My famous artist genius dad. Go talk to him. Call me later and tell me everything, okay? Okay, sweetie. So proud of you, Dad. Love you. Love you too, honey. Bye-bye. Zane? As I was saying, I have some exciting news for you. Uh, hold on, Sam. Zane, hey. How are you? Oh, oh, you were talking to Marvin? Uh, well, he's just gone to the kitchen. Can, can I help you? Paintings? What pa Video? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Zane. I don't... Neil Harris? What exhibit in New York? I'm sorry, Zane. I, I don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll be here. Sure. Okay, we'll see you soon.
When did you do this? A few nights ago. All of it? Yeah. Why did you do this? It's gonna happen. Or that this just doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. What are you talking about? What is this? Paintings. I know they're goddamn paintings, Marvin. What are they? How did you do it? It just happened. Please, don't say it just happened. You don't paint. You never painted this. You don't do anything. What the fuck is this? What are you getting so angry about? This. You threw them out. This was mine. You didn't want these anymore. You took it away from me. Everything, you took everything. I don't understand. What else did I take? If you didn't take it, you ruined it. Ruined what? My life. Your life is hard. No, it's easy. It's the easiest life imaginable, and I'm fucking bored. Well, how's that my fault? You did. tricked me and now I'm left with nothing. How did I trick you? You're not making any sense. I have nothing. I am nothing. You are my wife. You're a mother. Right. You get a comfortable job and I get to stay home. I drive to ballet. I drive to soccer. I, I make fucking lunches. And I become a, a suburban house mother, just like my miserable suburban house mother. And you know what is the worst part of it? I'm not even good at it. All I have. I don't stop you from doing anything you want to do. You take art lessons. You, you, you turned our daughter's room into a studio. You can do anything you want. I wanted this. I wanted to be special, to express myself, to have an exciting life. Well, I'm sorry I made your life so boring. I'm sorry I took care of you and our daughter. You, you took care of our daughter. You never took care of me. You stopped paying attention to me 18 years ago, and now this. This was mine. First class tickets, uh, flight 222 with United. Uh, tickets will be waiting for you. Everything else will be taken care of when you get there. Cars, hotel, all that bullshit. Jan, New York, huh? Maybe you can finally check out that school, see if it's for you. Or Tudis. What school? Now, I know this is a little fast, but you gotta strike when the iron's hot. His words, not mine. But I couldn't agree more, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, is this all okay? I mean, we're gonna work around your schedule. How do you know? It's fine. So I'll get these packaged up properly and ship to you so we'll be at the gallery when you arrive. I just hope you understand what a big deal this is. Yeah. We'll see you in New York. See you soon, Jen. Lucky you, huh? Married to the next Jean-Michel Basquiat. See you guys. Hi, it's Dad. 
So that same guy was just over. Turns out they want to do a showing thing of my paintings in New York this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was pretty exciting. Well, I guess they want to sell them, I don't know. Yeah, I know, you love New York. Yeah, I've never been either. Well, they booked me two first-class tickets for Friday. Yeah, two. Yeah, I know. Hotels, the whole nine. Yeah. Listen, I... Uh, I'm calling because I wanted you to know that your mother and I are going to take a ton of pictures to show you. Well, we're planning a bit of an adventure. Maybe take a week, maybe two. See the sights. Well, there's this art school as well that your mother is kind of interested in. And both my girls will be at school at the same time. So. Yes, I think it'll be fun too. Your mother couldn't be more excited. I'm just glad we're able to do it together. Of course, we'll, we'll call you when we get there. Okay. I'll tell you.